All new tonight, firing back. The tri-state's most outspoken sheriff now has a local state representative on his sights. Uh, all over a proposed change to Ohio's concealed carry law. Evan Millward is live on your side in Hamilton with why the sheriff calls this a public safety issue. House Bill 147 essentially eliminates the process for conceal and carry. No permit and therefore no training. Several local representatives have signed on behind it. Butler County Sheriff Richard K. Jones tonight calling the bill, quote, absurd and claiming no law enforcement was consulted about the possible change. And he takes direct aim at the representative from this area. It's, it's also the equivalent of, 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 of giving a, a someone drive, giving them a brand new car and no driver's training. You don't need any driver's training. Hey, and here's a chainsaw, by the way, you can use it too. You don't need any training up on it. Here we are, we're, we're starving for jobs. We're trying to get something really we need in these communities. We're recovering from a recession. And West Rutherford goes ahead and introduces a bill like this that I'm ashamed and embarrassed of. I've left a message with Rutherford's office seeking comment in response to that tonight. And when we first reported this story just a couple of days ago, another local co-sponsor, Representative Lewis Blessing III of Coleraine Township, told Night on Your Side this was a Second Amendment issue, quoting now, there should not be laws restricting someone's right to carry. How far the bill makes it through the state capitol remains to be seen. Sheriff Jones tells me he doesn't think it stands much of a chance. But five other states have already passed similar laws. In Hamilton, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.